This morning we're going to go over washing dishes. Now I know everybody does this a little bit differently at home, but there is a certain way we are going to do this in our labs. And this is a little bit more traditional way of doing dishes. Um, the other thing I want to point out is this is the way dish soap is meant to be used. Um, dish soap, of course, is an engineered product designed to clean your dishes. And it's designed to be dissolved in a sink of hot water. If you do your dishes with just a sponge, which I don't recommend, because sponges tend to be a very dirty item in the kitchen, they need frequent sanitation, and they have to be replaced quite often, which leads to a lot of waste. Uh, so a clean dishcloth every time would be your best bet. Okay, but if you're someone who squirts the soap on the dish sponge, then gets it wet, um, that is not an effective way of cleaning your dishes, uh, at least not as effective as filling your sink full of hot soapy water. So it's something I just wanted to go over this morning. Uh, if you prefer to do your dishes the other way, uh, that is your choice. There are products now that are being designed for that, but this particular dish soap, which is traditional dish soap, uh, is meant to be used in a sink full of hot water. Okay, so first thing I did was I put the plug in the drain. I do have a garbage disposal on this side. So I actually like washing in this side because then all my little bits that I don't get scraped off will go down the garbage disposal. Um, so the drain is plugged. I've put about a teaspoon of my dish soap in. That's all I need. I'm actually going to start running hot water. Okay. Since I'm using the side with my garbage disposal, I scrape all my dishes first, then I fill my sink. You'll notice the paperwork I gave you for school says something differently, um, and that's fine. So I've got hot water, as hot as you can stand it. Um, if it's too hot to keep your hand in, then obviously you want to cool it down, but you do want it hot because that's going to activate the soap and wash your dishes a little bit better. It's also going to make the job just a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm going to do about a quarter of my sink full of water. Okay, so then I'm going to take a clean dishcloth. I submerge the items in the water. I actually like to soak a little bit. I'm gonna go with my cleanest dishes first. Okay, and I only have three dishes I'm washing. Uh, the reason I go with the cleanest dishes first is I want to make sure that I'm not getting the um, stuff from the dirty dishes on my cleaner dishes. So if Let's say I had a frying pan, it's got lots of oil, um, there's going to be bits of food in it. I want to make sure that I am not transferring that to my cleaner dishes. So my water will stay cleaner if I start with my cleanest dishes. And that's important because if your water gets too dirty, you are going to have to stop. Ooh and do this all over again. There's still a little bit stuck down in there. Okay. So you'll notice I'm getting the inside of the cup, I'm getting the rim where the mouth was, and I'm also making sure I get the outside and the handle. You get all parts of the dish washed. I do rinse with warm water to make sure I get all the soap off. I don't want to leave soap behind because that can cause some tummy issues for some people. So we're going to the inside of the bowl. We're going to flip it. We're going to do the outside. And then rinse. Okay. Now I have a dish drainer that I put my dishes in. 
to just kind of drip dry because it I'm at home and that makes drying easier. Um, my towel does not get as wet. The towel I'm going to use, I can adjust this, is clean. I've not used it on my hands because if I use this to dry my hands, um, what's going to happen is whatever is on my hands is going to transfer to the towel and then onto the dish. Okay. So I let these get mostly dry. This stays mostly dry. Um, if you're at home, you can let them drip dry. At school, we do need to completely dry them and put them away. Okay. Once that is done, I am going to take my dishcloth. I usually will take, I'll wipe down the counters, I'll wipe down the stove. I'll wipe down the sink area so I've wrung it out a little and I take just a little pressure and I wipe off my workspace I make sure that's cleaned up if there are other parts of my kitchen I'll go do the same and then I wipe down my sink area one of the things you're going to notice is if your sink area does not get cleaned you'll end up with buildups of different minerals, um, scum, just food particles. So you want to take and make sure you wipe everything down, rinse off your rag as needed. Once you get something in your rag, you're just transferring that around. So I take, I wipe around my faucet. handle. I like to get right here. Not everybody does. Because that just, that makes me crazy. So everything is shiny clean. When that's done, I take, I wipe up my sink, I always set my dishcloth up cloth off to the side to dry before I put it in the dirty clothes. I'm going to clean out my bubbles, make sure there's no food left, and then I'll generally take a paper towel and I'll dry that out. Now I don't have a paper towel, so I'm going to take this. Um, okay. If there were food in the garbage disposal, I probably would have taken care of that. And then just make sure everything's good and dry and it's not going to grow, it's not going to smell.